Ranger or Accelerator? Since Ranger's rework, the Ranger has become a lot more viable, so it brings up the question, which is better? This video, I'll be comparing their damage, cost efficiency, actual in-game results, and more, so let's get right into it. We'll be dividing the comparisons between the early, mid, and late game level performance of both towers. But before that, consider subscribing, I had to rewrite this script three times over guys, but after some help from the blue head mafia leader himself Corso, I managed to make this. Starting with early game, level 0 accelerator has a fire rate of 0.208, range of 17.5, and damage of 10, at a cost of 4250. Although Accelerator has an annoying charge up and cooldown, it makes up for it with a DPS of 20.59. To put it into perspective, a level 0 turret costing 4k only gives 14.3 DPS, a 30% decrease. Now Ranger meanwhile costs 5k, almost the same as a level 1 Accelerator, so let's check its stats and put these in comparison. Level 1 Accelerator gets a damage increase and most importantly, hidden detection, at the cheap cost of only 800 for a total of 5050 cash. This then increases the DPS from 20.59 to 24. This is really useful as in most cases you can get a level 1 accelerator before the first hiddens appear on wave 13 for modes like Molten and Fallen. Now Ranger level 0 coming at basically the same price of 5k has a fire rate of 4.508, a range of 50 and damage of 80. The range is pretty insane as it can literally cover the entire map at level 0 which no other tower can even come close to. This all results in a DPS of 17.75, which considering the range is really good, since the previous ranger only had a DPS of 12. Its base level also starts off with flying detection, making it a good choice for flying enemies, however 80 damage shots obliterating 4 HP normal zombies is not exactly efficient guys. With that said, and Accelerator's hidden detection, we can easily see that ranger is bad for the early waves, with Accelerator clearly taking the W here. This is especially true considering the placement cost being 750 less, making it possible to get it even a wave earlier. Now mid game is where actual high HP zombies spawn, so does Ranger make a comeback? On Accelerator's mid game levels 2 to 4, its time before it has to reload goes from 2.4 to 6 seconds, making it much more consistent for dealing with enemies like shadow bosses and glitches with their high speed. As for its DPS, it increases all the way from 24 DPS on level 2 to 120.11 DPS on level 4, at a total cost of 19,700. Now does Ranger's mid-game upgrades actually compete? Well, on level 1 it only gets an increased fire rate of 1 second, but on level 2 is where Ranger starts to get really interesting. It gains a range buff ability alike to DJ where it increases the range of nearby towers by 15% for 20 seconds at the start of each wave. This buff area can be seen by clicking on the ranger with it being a yellow 12 stud radius. Compared to DJ's 35% range increase, this sounds pretty meh, but combined that's a 50% range increase, which means an accelerator can go from 20 range to 30 range, which is pretty insane. The issue I find in this is that it's only really good for speedrunning as modes like hardcore where rangers at its best tend to have long wave times, making the buff sometimes only active for 10% of the wave, which is like... Not exactly good. Now as for its DPS, it increases from level 0's 17.75 DPS all the way to level 3's 92.08 DPS. So how does the level 3 ranger with a total cost of 28k compared to a level 4 accelerator totaling to 19.7k? Well, accelerator comes in at a cost per DPS of 164.02 cash for a total of 120.11 DPS. Meanwhile, Ranger comes in at a cost per DPS of 304.08 for a total of 92.08 DPS, making Accelerator's cost efficiency almost double, which is crazy. Now, does the Ranger's range and range buff make up for it? Well, not really. The problem lies in the hidden detection, where either way you'll need a DPS tower besides Ranger to deal with them. Overall, for at least the longer maps, the Ranger is not that far behind, but assuming you want quick runs, I definitely use Accelerator for my mid game too. Considering all this, I'm giving Accelerator the dub for mid game too. But there are maps where Granger is more versatile, like Crossroads, where you can't really place Accelerators at the spawn, leading to Rangers having more time to deal damage. Now for Accelerator's final upgrade level 5, its stats improve a ton. The fire rate gets increased from 0.2 to 0.1, making for double the fire rate. It also gets a minor 2.5 range increase for a total of 20, and also a minor 5 damage increase. 
The charge up time that it takes before it starts dealing damage also gets reduced from 3 seconds to 2. This makes Accelerator's damage overall more consistent when dealing with enemies that stun, and overall just more reliable. Lastly, the overcharge gets increased from 1350 to 3000, a 120% increase, all at a cost of an insane 34k. This all results in a DPS of 286.26, a 138% increase in damage. Now as for the ranger's final upgrade level 4, it gains a new attack. Each shot ranger shoots now deals an additional 125 splash damage. The explosion range is pretty small though, being only 6 range. To put it into perspective, Mortar and Pursuit have an explosion range of 16 and 10. That's a pretty big difference. The saddest part of all though is that it can only damage up to 3 enemies at once, so it's like barely a crowd control tower. As for other changes, Ranger's fire rate actually gets slowed down from 3.258 seconds to 7, but this is compensated with the damage being more than tripled from 300 to 1125, an 825 increase. This all comes at a cost of one of the most expensive upgrades in the entire game, a whopping 35k. This results in a DPS of 178.37 if only one enemy gets hit, and a maximum of 214.05 if three enemies get hit by the explosion. So now that we have the DPS of each max tower, we can compare the final DPS and cost efficiency for the late game levels. Here's the DPS of both towers, but to put value into these numbers, we actually have to see which tower has better cost efficiency. With Ranger, we have it coming in at a minimum of 294.32 cash per 1 DPS, assuming it damages 3 enemies. Accelerator, meanwhile, has a cost per DPS of 187.59. This makes Accelerator at least 56% more cost efficient, as well as deals 72.21 more DPS, thus making it a clear better option for damage output. But this is only true when looking at it from face value. So for a more realistic test, let's look at how they perform in an actual game. So I tested both towers on Molten Mode from wave 30 to 40, and on the earlier waves, Ranger was definitely overkilling enemies, even on the strongest targeting setting. So Accelerator was already ahead by 20 to 35% more damage. This then turned to around 25% during waves 33 to 36, as for the Molten Boss wave, we got the final result of 18.7% more damage from Accelerator. Now in most cases you usually have DJ and Commander, so I retried it again with both supports this time. This time with Molten Boss's defeat, I got these results of 14.7% more damage for Accelerator. Overall, the winner is by a decent margin Accelerator. The Hardcore Tower 1 guys, shocker, I know. Ranger is really not that far behind though, Ranger's at its most useful in Hardcore and Pizza Party where flying enemies are, and most important of all right now, events. Solar Eclipse 2021 and Violent Knight had some flying enemies, so chances are Ranger will be useful in the coming acts too. Any loadout can also just be improved by using the level 2 Ranger with the range buff, so it has some use as a support tower. Hope this video was helpful and yeah, see you on the next one.